apologize. Make yourself at home.
Yo. <laughs> Ooh, we can do this. Let's get started. Sam, I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. 
An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san? I heard the school moved her exam period. Must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but... Imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? You're saying their expectations will turn into anger and scorn, right? Yep, that's definitely true. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Hmm... Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you, and enjoy your vacation. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. It might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now! Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? Kind of feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. We sure are on top of these kinds of things.
Now for the weather. Go to bed. Been searching all along. Can face it while let's go to bed. Hey, it's me. Come on, man. So, like. Turn in for the night. What's up? Mm. Why? Why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Sure, you need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass! I totally want in! Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? Huh. I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. Oh, hot! It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. A TV crew, huh? We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. Hey, is she talking about us? What the? Yeah, what do we do? Good point. We'll look even more suspicious if we panic now. They got us. Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up, make some real cringy comments, and I can't use any of the footage. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Whew, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? I 
Pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat! Oh, right! Thank you, Bob! The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat! Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out! I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. That's pretty poetic, dude. Well, I came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, was that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? A stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go! So, that's it? It barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Ah, uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meet earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Huh? Oh, well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Senpai? Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium, too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Was delicious. I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. Simply put, it was a disaster. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. I have a younger sister. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, she died in an accident. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. Senpai. You're right. It's just getting started. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? 
Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged, mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. Real? Do it. 